Hi paper lovers, this is Sarah with Live, Love, and Scrap .com. Um Today I'm going to be making this card with you. And it uses the sentimental cartridge and the straight from the nest cartridge. So um, this is the second time I filmed this video because the first one went way over. Um, so we're going to try to rush through it. This uh, little butterfly here is the center point of our flower. And um, the top layer of him is that gemstone paper from Basil. It's so pretty. So I already put him together. He's cut at two and three quarters. And he's from the Sentimentals cartridge on page 46. And then I have two of these um, swirls that are from Straight from the Nest, or Flourishes. They're on page 69, and I cut them at one and three quarter. And I have two of those. And then this shape here, where I stamped my sentiment, and the shadow is also from Straight from the Nest. And it is on page 75, and I cut it at two and a quarter. So let's get started. My card is um, five and a half by five and a half. It's a pre-made card, and then I just stuck a layer on it. This paper is from the Die Cuts with a View Flower Shower Spring Stack, which is my new favorite paper. And I'm just going to quickly ink the edge, putting more ink in the corner. And this is the Dune um, color box. Okay. And I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to take my flourishes and just lightly add some of that um, ink to it, just to give you know a little aged look. Do that to both of my flourishes. Okay. Bring this back over, and hopefully I have it on the right side. And with my zig two-way glue pen. I'm going to dot some glue on here. I hope I make it in the time frame. Last time it took me <laughs> almost 12 minutes. And I d it felt like 5 minutes. goes really quick. Okay, so we're going to line that up down here at the bottom of the card. Okay, and take our other flourish, make sure we have the right side. So I haven't been in my craft room for about four days. I got hit with a nasty little eye infection. Never had anything like that before. It was extremely painful and annoying. And I couldn't touch anything because I was so contagious. Okay, babe. <laughs> My son. <laughs> okay, babe. Okay. So there's our flourishes. And then I'm going to take our butterfly. And I'm going to put him on some foam squares. These big foam squares here I like to use for big embellishment. Okay. And then he is going to go at an angle like right about there. So he looks like he's coming up out of the flourish. And I actually cut this one. I'll be right there, babe. I cut this a little bit smaller than my original one because I thought my original one was a little bit too big. And then I'm going to ink up my sentiment. And my sentiment is, don't tell God how big your problems are. Tell your problems how big God is. And I made this card for a friend of mine who's kind of going through a rough time. And I think I have this the wrong way. There we go. I wasn't lining up quite right. Okay. Then I'm just going to adhere this down. A little bit tucked under my butterfly. Down there like that. It's a little bit crooked. There we go. And then I have a couple um, Prima flowers here that I'm going to attached together with some glue dots. Okay, put that 
that in the middle, and then I have a little bling. So I'm going to put in the center there, and then I'm going to grab another glue dot. going to go right there. And then I have one more flower that's going to go down below. Is that light? Mm-hmm. Why? Okay, and that one's going to go right down here. And then I'm going to add another little bling. Mommy. Hold on, honey. You packed it. You packed it. You packed it. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty pretty. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.